Another way to set up and apply the tie round kick is with the jab cross. So what I want to do is fire a jab cross right at my, right my opponent's chin. And what you'll notice is in this particular case, my opponent's using a right parry for my left jab and a left parry for my right cross. And because, of the, um, because his parry is coming in slightly, it's creating an angle where my shin can score a direct shot to his neck here. So I'm setting him up by throwing maybe one, maybe two uh, jab, jab cross combinations. And then on the third one, I'm going to jab, fake the cross, and bring in the kick right behind it. All right. Now the way you want to train this is your, your partner is going to execute what's called a snapback. If your partner ha uh, has his rear heel raised um, using a proper tie stance here, what he's going to do is first put his heel down. At the same time, he's going to lean back slightly and put the chin down. Okay. What you want to do is throw your kick right at, right at neck level and it's just going to pass in front of your partner's face here. <clears throat> so now I'm going to feed a jab cross and on my second turn I'm going to throw a jab, fake the cross and throw the right tie kick. Here it is again with one setup and then the kick. One more time. Now in training, that's how you're going to use it, to preserve a training partner and for safety reasons, of course. But ideally, in a fight, you're trying to land that shin right in the neck or across the face, obviously. So in actual fight application, you're looking to do something like this. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. 